Welcome to the stage, Mr. John Porter. Still standing. Fucking hell. <laughs> Coming for something when the texts are taking the fucking piss out of you. I'm not going to fall over in it, but like me, I guess. But yeah. Uh, good evening, I'm John Porter. Uh, normally I would address my disability, but it's already been fucking done, so uh, yeah. I tend to address it when I first come on stage. I know they say you, you, know, you should talk about stuff if it's visible, so I feel like I should mention it. Much the same way if I came on with a gun, you'd all be going, why the fuck's he got that? So yeah. Um, Speaking of guns, no, I'm not a Paralympian, I'm not superhuman, I'm barely subhuman. Um, felt like entering the Paralympics once, but the only event I was interested in doing was the shooting, and they reckon the South African guy had that sewn up, so I didn't fucking bother. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that risky as you are it's been three fucking years, come on. He's been out of prison since, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, I don't know him, by the way. All the disabled people do not know each other. I don't know where the fuck that's come from, right? I don't know if this happens to all people of, you know, particular groups. I don't know if they ask, you know, Eddie Murphy whether we know Chris <coughs> Rock or something like that. But... <coughs> no, I don't know Oscar Pistorius. I've never met him. I haven't shot my girlfriend either. Admittedly, I don't have one, so that does make it quite difficult. But, uh, yeah, we don't all know each other. There isn't a club for disabled people. I mean, if there was, where the fuck would we all park, anyway? <laughs> I'd like to give that one a minute just to see what happens, you know. Um, I love these gigs. They're a bit like an ATOS assessment for me, you know. It's good, isn't it? Can you climb up this stage? Well, with a bit of bell. Ah, benefit's gone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had an ATOS assessment recently, I think I know why I lost my benefits. After 20 minutes of being questioned, I snapped at the guy and said, look mate, I can prove my disability in two easy steps. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I say, I address it because I think it's important. I, sh I should know better at this stage because it's not done me any favours, to be honest. Um, a couple of other things I should address. I'm not Jack Carroll, a lot of Britain's Got Talent, right? I am John Porter, right? I know we look the same, I know we've got the same condition, but he's a 15-year-old boy. If I look like a 15-year-old boy to you, I'd see a psychiatrist. Um, but yeah, I, I say I mention it, and unfortunately it leads to some bad stuff occasionally. I've had some weird shit with other comedians. Comedians are a bit strange. I mean, you've just, you know, you've probably seen some evidence of that a couple of times tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's true, you know, I mean, I've done gigs and people have come up to me afterwards, probably the worst one, guy comes up to me and says, uh, do you mind if I ask you what your disability is? And I said, no, it's cerebral palsy. And his reply was, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for that, Dr. Shipman, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my chronic pain ain't good enough for you, fucking bell ends. You know? <laughs> I wonder whether he had a list on his wall, you know, oh, cerebral palsy, it's only number seven, it could be worse, you could have leprosy. You know, you could have a broken jaw, you can come down about it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that piece of material where I'm from, I'm from Preston, in case you can't tell by the accent, and a guy came up to me afterwards and he goes, uh, are you really disabled? And I was like, well, why the fuck would I lie about it? I think I'm actually something a bit more interesting, you know, I might be a lion tamer or something like that. <laughs> You know, it's not as though there's any benefits to it, literally, thanks to the Tories, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's me. Uh, like I say, I address it, and sometimes I get a bit of stick for it. I have had some stick off comedy reviews. Comedy reviews are elitist fuckwits, and that's on video. So, um, but yeah, no, I, I, get some, I get some really weird shit written about me. I saw an article recently that said, John Porter, disabled heavy set, and I thought, is that a review or a fucking description? <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't come as any surprise to you. I do actually work, despite what the papers tell you, some disabled people do work. Um, I've got a job, I work in Manchester now, uh, which is, you know, which is great. Um, unfortunately, it means I have to get the train, uh, Northern Rail, which is fantastic, as I'm sure you can imagine. It did dawn on me recently that Northern Rail trains are a little bit like my ex-girlfriend, in that they're dirty they cross the bomb and they come about 20 minutes late. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I love that joke as well. Um, yeah, no, I, like I say, I've got a job, a good job now actually. It's took me a while to get there. I didn't necessarily deal with interviews very well when I first, uh, when I first started going from probably about five years ago now. Because when I'm asked a stupid question, I respond with a stupid answer. You've already seen evidence of my sarcasm. So like, I go to some interviews and the guy says, um, do you really want this job? And I go, no mate, I fucking love coming to Salford on a Monday morning. <laughs> Just realised I've said that pretty close to Salford. <laughs> if you start throwing things at me, I'm fucked anyway. They're like space invaders. <laughs> 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 I did that in Wigan once and started getting pythons thrown at me. <laughs> but yeah, the other question they asked, and I got this one as well, is where do you see yourself in five years? Now I said shagging for long faith. Um, it's been four and a half, it's not going very well today. Uh, all I've got so far is a restraining order, which if I'm honest seems a bit sarcastic, but never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I work in IT. I don't know if there's anyone here that works in IT. I doubt it because we don't like going out at night or being sociable in any way. Um, but one of the weird things about IT is that obviously I'm quite socially awkward. Uh, but in order to manage in IT, you've got to be even more socially retarded than me. So uh, my first boss is on the way of uh, motivating his staff. I said, oh, for fuck's sake, he was from Birmingham. He had a stroke, right? I feel like you're pointing out. <laughs> <coughs> I kind of wish he had, because it might have put a smile on his face, but never mind. 